Alright, hey there, my name is Mars, uh, and welcome to Respy Hill, as you can see. Uh, this is a free indie horror game, and it looks absolutely terrifying! If you could imagine there was this hill completely full of people, like a forest of people, wouldn't that be scary? Okay, so, this is a bit weird control, but actually, you, uh, move forward with the left mouse button. Oh, uh, I'm not sure about this. I have no idea what, what the goal of this game is, actually, and... I don't like it at all. Oh no 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 <laughs> oh, no no Oh god Why it has to be dolls Oh god get away Oh my god Can I run up at this hill I actually can Oh god there's another one Oh god What am I supposed to do here? Ah! What the hell's going on? Oh god! No, 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 At least I've got the stamina of a bloody horse. Get away from me! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my lord! man oh and I'm back is this an infinite loop type of thing Ugh. It, it's not that jump scary or anything but those things are absolutely terrifying uh, hi no well, this just keep going and going right Ooh, yeah I don't know, if this game had a bit more uh, storyline to it and a bit bigger intro to it, this could be absolutely terrifying. As is, it, it, it's, it's pretty scary, but you're thrown in there and immediately stuff goes down, so there's not a lot of build-up, but... Holy crap, these things are scary. <laughs> no. And my game kind of froze when there were, like, tons of these things <laughs> going after me. Could probably outrun them a bit more, but... Oh god, here we go again. No, <laughs> no thank you. Nope, not in the market for any uh, ragdolls there. That's off, what's this? That's new. What the hell? Is that a grave? Grave or some kind. These are graves. Okay, let's follow the graves then. Seems to be my only light source in here. And a big plus the rag dolls keep away from me. <laughs> I can still hear them in the background, but they don't seem that permanent permanently visible here. Maybe it's just a build-up for something. And it, the, the annoying th th part, well maybe not annoying, but more terrifying, is that you can't look uh, behind you because you push the left mouse button to go forward. I need Lou. It's probably the creator's game, the game creator's names. So they're getting closer, I can hear them. Uh, go over to this one. Anyway, as I was saying, you, you have to use the left mouse button to move forward, so you can't look back and run backwards like you'd normally do with the WSD. Which is kind of terrifying, because I like to know what the hell's chasing me. I don't see any more gravestones. So metal than new. Oh, there we go. The train changed. Oh my lord. Uh oh. Where do I go now? Damn it, they're closing in on me. I can't see uh, anymore. Where the hell are the graves? Uh oh. 
Oh, there we go. I think, I hope. Maybe I'm turning backwards now, I don't know. The, the surroundings pretty similar, so... I could have easily... I'm only new. Uh, they're over there, so... Oh, there's another one. I have to say, for, for what it is, it's absolutely terrifying. Um, I think it could have been a lot more if you put more storyline to it and build it up more. I'm fine with not having an object uh, objective. There's a lot of these horror games don't really have an objective. Which makes it kind of sc more scary, so you, you really don't know what the hell's going on. That's pretty cool. Seem to be doing the right thing here, following these gravestones. I think. I've seen the dolls haven't come near me since then. Before I was just wandering around like a headless chicken. Okay, it came from there. Where's the next one? I think I can see something over there, but I'm not really sure. Is that the same one? light keeps changing. Oh, wait a minute, maybe it's the light I need to follow. It's all the same name and all the same date. Okay, bring in the next one. And I'm back here. Okay, so I got turned around, I think? I don't know. Let me just... What the hell is that floating up there? What the hell? The greys are floating. Why are they floating? Okay, that's new. Why are they floating, mommy? A oh, lot come... Closer together now. Every time, you, uh, sometimes the, the music loops and it you can hear a pop. <laughs> and it makes my hands stand, uh, hair stand on hand. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going the right way because there's a lot of gravestones here that are close together. And the floating ones I haven't seen before, so... Let me guess I'm on the right track. There's another floating one. Light seems to be following me now. Hard to say, see to the grainy uh, textures and stuff. And the distortion in the in image. And I'm near the end again. I'm gonna jump off! Goodbye, crew world! I form off the edge of the uh, map here, and I broke the game. Woohoo! Um. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna end it here because I don't think there's an end to this yet, or is it going to be. I don't know. Um. The first part was extremely scary. I think. I think they they threw everything at you in the beginning, which is kind of a shame. I thought maybe it would make more sense to put it near the end if you follow the gravestones all the way to the end and then things start popping up. But it would make it a lot more scary. It had a, a bit more build-up. And now you've been just thrown into the deep end and enjoy. And after that, nothing actually happened. Except me for falling off the edge of the world. She's kind of weird. 
But anyway, um, yeah, that's, so that's Recipe Hill. Um, I'll put the download link in the description so you can the guys can play it. Tell me if there's an ending to it. I don't know. Um, I think falling off the edge of the map would be it was a bad idea on my part, but I've been going on for far too long anyway, so I wanted to make an end of it, and I couldn't find any ragdoll, so there you go. Um, but yeah, leave a comment on your experience on this game. Uh, give me suggestions on what to play next. Leave a comment, leave a like, uh, edit to your favorites, uh, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date. And I'll be very grateful to see you all in the next let's play.